Okay, I'm Glenn, City of Allen Fishing Field Team, COAF Field Team. In this round, um, we got a video where we did a prototype of our GoPro setup here. This is one, uh, this could be type two now. Type one um, is going to be in the video that we're just testing out. It's the first time we took it out, and so we had to make some adjustments. Uh, specifically, those adjustments being we had too much floating uh, buoy material, so we ended up uh, having to cut this down on the fly. We're out in the field. Um, but now this should work. And then uh, we also made a little bit of adjustments here so we can remove this float and to keep the line out of the way. Uh, and then we noticed that this could sit pretty much um, uh, vertical. So we like that. Unfortunately, uh, the, the video that you'll see following this uh, scene is you'll, probably, you'll, you'll see a, about this much of the uh, field of view. Everything else is pretty clear, you know, per, per, pretty murky. It's not too well, uh, not too clear at this pond. But you do see some fish, and um, the main thing that uh, we want to take away is, is that um, this does work, and with the adjustments we made, hopefully we can find some clear water, put some bait instead of a fishing fly, and maybe we get some action shots since bummer that we lost our water wolf camera last year while we were kayak fishing. But this will do for now. All right, so uh, do stay tuned and check out the video. Okay, we're here at Celebration Park. We're going to try this underwater rig since we lost our water wolf camera. We're going to see if we can get some underwater shots with this baby. Let's see how it goes. All right, so we've got a GoPro here on this PVC deal. Got a little Griffiths net and on a little wire deal. We've got it basically duct tape. Hopefully there's nothing big that hits it so we don't lose anything. But, and then we got it tied to this uh, uh, braided line on our rod. We've got some uh, heavy rain supposedly coming here in a little bit. so. I don't know if we'll be here much longer, but we're going to give it a try. All right, we got it on. We'll just kind of dump it right here. Let's see where it takes us. Well, I guess I need to get more weight on it. <laughs> oh, bummer. I got too much weight. Well, let's see if it gets anything. Let's kind of edge away from it. Good to know that we need more weight. Okay, so uh, we made an adjustment, uh, took out some of the float. We'll see how this goes. Let's go ahead and turn that baby on. See if it'll sink now. All right, that one sank. All right, so we'll let it sink. Now let's just let it sit there. Maybe we need to walk away from it in case there's something that uh, comes up and wants to look at it. Maybe we need to just kind of flip-flop around. Maybe just kind of maybe do some trolling while we're here. What do you say? <laughs> All right, let's go back over here. All right, I don't think it's too deep. At least when I'm picking up on it, it doesn't seem too deep. Let's go back over here, maybe. Let it sit on the bottom here. And then um, we'll see if there's anything that comes by. See if we can work our way over here to this other side. Let's go check on it just in case. Let's see. Alright, still running. Alright, let's go in pop this out maybe and get another view from this way. Water must be cold. I think there's a little spot over here that might hold some fish that we've seen before. And we'll just kind of let it drift along. Man, we kind of miss our water wolf camera. But that's the way it goes sometimes. Good test though. I think we'll we'll adjust to that smaller weight, and then um, we'll probably probably uh, try some bait next time too, and just see what the water clarity's like. Do like that uh, second float on there to help keep it upright. Let's go and move it down a little. Okay. Let's see what's over here. Let's go and lift it up and 
See if we can drag it here. Find another spot to take a look at. It's starting to rain on us, so I'm going to go call it quits here soon. Alright, I think we got enough to at least get a video going and get an idea. This is a workable contraption. Definitely got the rain on us now. Let's go and cover up a little bit here so we don't get wet. This one GoPro is not uh, waterproof at this point. We got it in that other uh, casing. Let's go back down over here real quick. Just one more try before we go. Let's make sure it's on. Yeah, it's still going. it out there. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so so far the test is going well. We are seeing a few fish. Very murky. That rain uh, really roiled things up and kind of made it tough to see. But if you just kind of look in the distance, you'll just get a glimpse of these little bluegill that are pecking away at the Griffith snap. Alright, I think we might have a, a decent video to at least take a look at what's underwater. And just to the lower right quadrant, you can see where that Griffith's net is just kind of floating over there, and you'll see a few fish here or there moving about. Just kind of move the uh, line here, or the fly. I think at this point we're just starting to do some trolling with it. So we're hoping uh, next round we come over here, it'll be a little bit more clear. Maybe we can see some of these guys that are out in the distance. Cross our fingers. Let's go walk over this way. Maybe we can kind of do a little trolling. And so off in the distance you can see just in the background some of that darkness where the fly is moving through the water and every once in a while you'll see a fish come up and uh, uh, come into the scene. And um, what we're thinking next time, we definitely like the uh, floating um, adjustment we made with the floatant. We'll make, a, uh, we'll cut it down to size. Additionally we made a, some additional adjustments on the rigging. So that should help us out uh, the next time we come out. And then I think uh, from a weight standpoint, we like where the weight is. It's just the floating part is what will make that adjustment. So other than that, uh, it's been a fun time out here. All right. Good test. Okay, so here's the modified version. So this would be prototype 2 or type 2. And here we just cut down the floatant, adjusted the rigging, um, did some stuff with uh, the taping and whatnot. And I think this is going to be a good one the next time we go. Hopefully the water will be much more clearer. All right, till next time we'll catch you all there. And good luck and good fishing.